So time to wrap up this part on modeling, which as I more or less um, already mentioned at the end of the last section, really enjoyed. I hope you did too. So what are the important things that you might want to take away from it? So one thing that is important, I think, is this notion of elaboration tolerance, which I think becomes more and more clear once you work with ASP. One thing that, that results from this are uniform problem representations that distinguish the problem instance and the problem encoding, and that the problem encoding should actually work for all problem instances of the problem class. Then ASP's generating test methodology, which I think helps a lot, right? When you start to, to, to model in ASP that you have a generator and then you really, really uh, work on the assumption that here's, the, here's now the candidate and now I evaluate this candidate and test it, that it actually is a valid, a feasible uh, solution. Um, and finally, how once you push the button, how ASP's workflow uh, goes, so that after once you have modeled that there's a grounding phase, a solving phase, and that solving is sometimes iterated in case you, you're optimizing, and that finally Klingo is an ASP system that is composed of a grounder and a solver, and these guys are called Gringo the grounder and Clasp the solver, and actually Klingo has even more to offer, but this is something we'll be discussing in the sections to come. So, well, the end is at hand, at least for this part of the course. So, auf Wiedersehen. And tomorrow isn't staying out. I'll be back without a doubt. I really love that.